Hello everyone, this is Swaying Sangvi from vlemon.com and I am back with another Google Cloud Compute Engine tutorial video. So in our previous video, we learned about how to create a Windows Server 2016 VM installance. We installed IIS and we configured PHP in our Windows Server 2016 instance. Now, in this video, we are going to first create a zone for our domain name and then we are going to point our then we are going to update name servers for our domain name and then we are going to point our domain name on our windows server 2016 vm instance for pointing our domain to our windows server 2016 vm instance we need to post i'm going to open console.cloud.google.com and then i need to select i want to select network services and then cloud dns here we need to create a zone so let's say let me copy my domain so it's my test.tk so i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it this so this is my zone uh, zone name and this is my dns name and then finally i'm going to click on create so our zone for domain name is ready now we need to copy this name server so I'm going to again open my domain provider control panel and then I'm going to select my domain and then I want to update its name server. I want to use first time name server inside this we are going to paste all the full name server. Okay, so the first one is a1, second one is a2, a3 and a4. So let me select a2 and then I'm going to select a3 and finally I'm going to select a4 and then i need to click on change name servers okay so name server changes going to take some time so let me see whether we are able to see anything here or not uh no okay so our zone is ready now the next thing we want to add few entries we want to add some a record for this i need to click on add record set and then i am going to select a i want to provide our vm instance ip address okay so let me go on cloud launcher uh, i want to open compute engine and then i am to select vm instance okay and this is our windows server 2016 ip address i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it here and then i'm going to click on create next i need to create another record set to handle www request and i'm going to select record type to c name and here i'm going to provide my domain name okay so let me say Mank test dot tk finally i'm going to go on create so that's it our zone details are ready let me check the changes effect let's try to refresh it one more time no nothing is going on so our zone details are created successfully now next thing we need to create a website inside IIS for this I need to click on compute engine and then I need to select I want to click on download the RDP file I'm going to open this uh, yes connect and we need to provide our password I think I saved it I'm not sure where I saved it so let me check one more time so it's my tutorial yes this is our credentials i'm going to click on i'm going to paste my credential here and then i'm going to click on ok yes don't ask again click on continue yes so finally we are connected on our server so first thing i want to open init ngr And now we need to create a new site okay so let me go right click add website 
site name I'm going to type my domain name here okay now we need to select the physical location for this site so I'm going to select this PC and inside C I'm going to select let's say I'm going to create or let me create a copy for this folder inetwork okay inside this we have everything uh, trust error FTP history log stamp and www root so I'm going to create a copy for this folder first so let me click on cancel I'm going to open Windows Explorer first and inside this I'm going to select this PC C drive I'm going to create a copy of this and I'm going to paste it here continue okay so let me select and let me rename it to our domain name so let's say it's my uh, test dot tk and then enter yes continue okay so this is our website folder so I want to use this and I'm going to select this part why because using HTTP request we only want to access this file we don't want to access all this file this is only for server management or other purpose okay so that's why I'm going to select www root I'm going to copy this part and then again I'm going to open IIS and inside physical part I'm going to paste this okay let's test this setting and cannot verify access to this okay so let me post uh, add host name here so inside host name let me copy my domain name and then I'm going to paste it here okay that's it before clicking on ok let's see what we need uh, for this let me select C drive www root let me right click on this folder properties securities and inside this I am going to click on uh, edit I want to add click on add and I am going to click on advance find now let's add IIS user here click on ok modify apply ok ok and let's see what we have permission on this default folder so I'm going to right click on www root select properties securities and inside this we have IIS user and trusted installer I'm not sure which user is this but we already added this okay so not an issue let me click on cancel and let me try one more time test setting okay I'm not sure why this is warning okay, so let me click on close and let's close this one more time okay so finally click on okay to save all these changes so our my test.pk website is created successfully and let me click on uh, let me restart IIS services let's check whether we are able to access it or not yes we are able to access it without restarting IIS these are the steps to create DNS gen for your domain name and create a website for your domain inside IIS. Now in our next video, we are going to learn about how to install SQL Server. Once SQL Server installation is going to be completed successfully, then we are going to learn about how to install PHP driver so we can access our SQL Server database. Some important URLs.